I'd like to welcome everybody to this pep talk this afternoon. Please mute yourself, but always show your video picture. Sign in your name, your Facebook account, or email address in the chat box. Please include the names of companions attending with you. Use the chat box to ask questions and make comments while the pep talk is on. There will be group pictures at the start and end of the pep talk. A reminder is that uh, after taking, after the pep talk, take the online learning cum evaluation test exercise for mastery of learning and have a perfect score to get a certificate like the one shown here. We have placed the link in the chat box. Another reminder, obtaining 50 Oleta certificates will entitle one mentee to a voucher for a RO Hoson telemedical consultation. I think we are now on our 123rd pep talk. So any mentee or all mentees have a chance to get at least three Oleta certificates now because 123 now have pep talk. Another request, please uh, type in your feedback in the chat box during the open forum and before we adjourn. Thank you. Now let's have a group picture taking first before we start the pep talk proper. Set everybody. Please show your beautiful faces. Okay. Jen, okay. One, two, I have a patient empowerment program in which I'd like to empower the lay people or patients to take control in the management of their health. I started this pep talk, the pep talk on May 15, 2021. There are three courses in the pep talk. I completed the core course as shown here down below on October 9, 2021. And then from October 23, 2021 onwards, I have been tackling health disorder courses and health issue courses. This may take three years or longer depending on our enthusiasm, discipline, and perseverance. We are now actually on our third year. My pep talk today is entitled Mouth and Dental Health. The empowerment objective is for the lay people to have an essential understanding of mouth and dental health in their health management. Contents of this particular pep talk will be the following. What is mouth a mouth health? What is an oral health? What is a dental health? What are the components of the mouth? You may be. What are the parameters of healthy mouth and teeth? So when you say that one has healthy mouth, one has healthy teeth, what are the causes of unhealthy mouth? How to promote a healthy mouth? What are the parameters of healthy teeth? And what are the causes of unhealthy teeth? And how to promote healthy teeth? So essentially, these are the basic components of my talk today. So I'd like to have a disclaimer here. My talk will contain my thoughts, perceptions, opinions, and recommendations culled from experience of others as well as from personal experiences. Let's start with what is a mouth health, oral health, and dental health. Operationally, we will use mouth and oral health, or mouth and oral to mean the same thing. So we will use them interchangeably. Oral is more of a technical term. Mouth is more of a layman's term, but essentially they are the same. Dental, as we know, that it means the teeth. So the teeth are components of the mouth. Teeth are within the mouth. So they are, there are other components in the mouth aside from the teeth. So you have the tongue, the salivary glands, the gum, the palate, so 
palate, etc., etc. So though the mouth health includes the teeth, we will have a separate discussion on teeth health. That's why I entitled the talk as mouth and dental health for the purpose of uh, separating, uh, focusing on mouth health and then also on dental health. So when you say mouth or oral health, it means that there is no wellness or well-being problems with the mouth or oral cavity. The difference between wellness and well-being is that wellness is more, more on the physical aspect. Well-being includes not only the physical aspect, but the psychosocial and mental aspect of the person. Mental health, on the other hand, means there's no wellness well-being problems with the teeth, with the nipid, okay? Now, what are the components of the mouth? So strictly speaking, these are the loose uh, components, but in some textbook, in medicine, now we, we have different components. Now, okay. So anyway, I won't go into that. We'll just mention the components of the mouth, okay? So you have the uh, hard palate, yung lang ng langa, okay? yung sa taas, yung matigas, then soft palate, and then the uh, inside of the cheek, we call that the ducal mucosa, inside of the cheek, and then retromolar trigone is that area between the, uh, the upper and lower teeth, okay? and then the gum, okay? so yung mga gingivitis na dyan, yan, gum, na? lower lip, okay? that's part of the mouth, and then the tongue, Okay. The tongue actually consists of, strict speaking, in medicine, we divided the tongue into the anterior two-thirds, mas, mara, mas malaki, the posterior one-third, one-third. Na? The one-third is actually part of another cavity. Na? Okay. But anyway, as I said, we won't go into that. Into... Then tonsils. Tonsils, strictly speaking, again, is not really part of the medical definition of mouth, it's part of the oropharynx, no? Okay, but uh, we will include it here. Yugola, yung, yung, yung naka, nakaluwit doon sa itaas na, na palate, and then of course the upper lip. Then also we divide, yeah, when we talk about the mouth, we talk about the, uh, the, the, the sa itaas, dorsal side, okay, upper side, and then the underside, and then the floor of the mouth floor of the mouth, dun sa, dun sa, sa, sa ilalim ng dila. Na? Kung tinasa ng dila, dun sa ilalim, dun sa, may, parang may gutter doon. Na? Okay. As I said, we will have separate discussion of mouth health and dental health. Why is mouth and dental health important to know? Our mouth and dental health is or are more important that we might realize. So don't belittle it because they are the window to the overall health of a human being. Problems in the mouth and teeth can affect the rest of the human body. It can also cause ill sense of wellness in terms of physical, masakit, may problema, and then ill sense of well-being, magumpot na tayo kasi may sakit, nagdipress tayo. Okay? So well-being includes the biopsychosocial aspect of health. We know that eating is one of the Frequent, most frequent human behavior that brings enjoyment in life. It's just a most frequent, may mga tao ayaw yung kumain, no? walang, walang drive sa pagkain, walang gusto. Okay? But a lot of people find enjoyment in eating. Unhealthy mouth and dental health can prevent enjoyment in eating and therefore in life. Pag masakit ang bibig, ang nipin, enjoy. So it will also affect the enjoyment in life. What are the parameters for healthy mouth and healthy teeth? When you say healthy mouth, as I said, it, uh, healthy teeth is one of the components of the mouth, so it's equivalent to healthy oral cavity and healthy teeth. But when we say what is healthy mouth, it's healthy mouth. Na healthy teeth. Okay. Healthy mouth has no evidence of injuries, walang sugat, walang bukol, lumps, walang ulcers, yung mga kupa-kupa dyan sa, sa, sa balat, sa, sa, 
we don't call that balat, we call that mucosa. Okay, yung sa lips, we can call that uh, balat. No? Yung sa loob, ng, yung pinkish, reddish lining of the mouth, we call that mucosa. No? Kung may sabi mga uka-uka, no? we call that ulcerations. Then plaques, may mga puting uh, patches. No? Unusual color, medyo may hair, may ano, hindi siya pang karaniwan. Unusual color on and underneath the tongue. Anywhere, cheeks, meron din, gums, and untreated tooth decay. So, alam natin may kadalasan may tooth decay tayo. So, pag hindi natin pinagamot, no, that's equivalent to have uh, to be in a status of unhealthy mouth. It should not, when you say healthy mouth, kasama yung teeth na rin, di ba? Okay, teeth should not be wiggly. Hindi siya gumagalaw-galaw, but firmly attached to the gingiva and bone. Pag gumagalaw-galaw, na-storbo na tayo kung isa'y uh, malungkot na tayo. It should not hurt to chew or during brushing the teeth. Pag, su pag sumasakit ng ngipin natin, pag kumakain tayo, we don't call that a healthy mouth. It's an unhealthy mouth. What are the parameters of a healthy mouth? Ihiwalay na natin yung teeth. Healthy mouth has no evidence. Walang evidence na sugat, injuries, lumps, ulcers, plaques, and usual color on the lining of the components of the mouth. So, ito usually, just sum it up into these five elements. Injuries, lumps, ulcers, plaques, and discolorations. Magaling tandaan niya ito, di ba? Walang sugat, walang bukol, walang ulcerations, walang plaques, walang discoloration. Now, injuries. Usually, ang injuries pag nasugatan, no, usually it's due accidental. Ang pinaka-common, I think, is accidental self-biting of the lips or the tongue. I thought, I think uh, all of us have experienced that. Uh, experienced that pag kumakain, pag kumain tayo, accidentally, na, na nababite natin yung lips natin or tongues or even the side of the, uh, of the uh, mouth, no, the lining, the sakit, di ba? And then injuries from dentures, yung mga, yung mga postiso. No? And then, of course, external source of injury. Yung nabulog, tumama yung lips, dun sa, sa pader, o sa lupa. You know? okay. Now, lumps. Lumps, when you say lumps, yung mga bukol-bukol yun. Bukol-bukol, which can either be, when you talk about lumps, it's a question of whether is it cancer or not. Or, in other words, is it benign or malignant. So when you say lumps, you say tumors. So let, let me give an example. So exa give examples of tumors on the lips. Ito. So ito, may tumor dito. May bukod siya dito sa labi, sa lower lip. No? So kung uh, transparent siya, parang may fluid, we call that mucosil. Mucosil, baka ay. Kasi yung mga lips nagpuproduce ng mga, mga, mga substances which we call mucus. No? So pag... Uh, nag-collect siya doon, no? magiging bukol siya, that we call that mucosil. No? So usually, sinis, pwede sip-sipin lang yan, o oh, tatanggalin, no? operahan. No? And then, squamous cell carcinoma on the lips is also a tumor. Okay? This is an example of a tumor on the lower lip. Sa, yung itsura niya, pwede parang wart, pero, pero in totoo lang ito, this turn out to be cancer. No? cancer of the uh, lower lip. No? So, yung mga bukol na pag may sira yung mucos, yung lining, usually masama. No? Basta hindi siya yung ulcers. No? Okay. So, yung pangit tingnan, usually kung pangit tingnan yung in general, sa layman, pangit ang bukol na yan. Ganun, ganun, no? Wala siyang lining. No? Parang ito, may lining ito sa mucos. Ito, mas maganda. No? Pag merong ganito, suspect siya na cancer cancer of the lower lip. No? And the most common type of cancer dito, we call it squamous cell carcinoma. There are other two types of cancer. Itinatawag na basal cell carcinoma at saka melanoma. Melanoma usually itim ang itsura. I might show you examples of melanoma later on. Ito naman, tumors of the tongue. Okay. So ito, look, ito yung tongue. Actually, this is not really a tumor, but a Enlargement, abnormal enlargement, congenital ito, malaki yung, yung, uh, yung uh, what do you call that, tongue. Yung, uh, okay. 
So, macroglossia. And then, ito, may ulceration dito. No? May ukat. No? Pangit tingnan, di ba? So, once may pangit tingnan dito, usually, we, we suspect cancer. So, this turned out to be tongue cancer carcinoma in side 2. Uh, cells carcinoma. Ito naman, medyo itibitin. Kumisan, sa tongue, sa dila, we, we can suspect uh, melanoma, the type of uh, cancer of the tongue. Melanoma, may mga parang mall na naging cancer. Okay? But uh, with the history, palagi niya nasusugatan itong dila niya at hindi siya gumagaling na maganda. At look at uh, ito yung tawag ng granuloma pyogenico. Benign ito, hindi mo siya cancer. So, gagawin lang dito, tatanggalin lang itong, uh, itong buko na benign. No? Tumors of the heart palate. This is the heart palate sa itaas, yung matigas na root. Ito, may matigas na buko dito. Dito, we call that torus palatinus. May mga tao meron ka dito. I don't know the real cause, pero ako, I try to uh, avoid uh, yung mga sumisip-sip na hard candy. Yung pag sumisip-sip tayo ng hard candy, kung saan tumat kadalasan tumatama dito sa roof of the of mouth, di ba? So, baka chronic irritation, sa aking palagay lang, ha? chronic irritation can cause this uh, na laki itong mga buto-buto nito dito sa itaas. No? But it's benign. It's not cancer. No? But yung buto lang lumalaki at normal. Ito naman may bukol dito dito sa heart, heart palate. No? Fleshy siya. Hindi siya buto. No? So pag meron na nito, yung coverage, covering of the bukol is malinaw, smooth na smooth. And this is what you so, what what is usually uh, this is usually caused by yung uh, Tumor of the minor salivary gland. Na? Dito kasi sa bibig natin, may mga salivary gland tayo. Yung nag-produce ng saliva. Okay, kumisan, pag binalas tayo, one of the salivary gland can form into a tumor. No? Yan, dumaki siya ito. Now, uh, ito naman, sa lining of the mouth. Lining of the mouth, yung tawag namin, buccal mucosa. Okay. Ito, may sugat siya. Tumagos na sa, ba, sa balat ng mukha. No? Pag meron ganitong itsura, malaking chance na cancer na siya. No? So ang clue that it's cancer is so, yung pangit talagang tignan at talagang hindi gumagaling. No? Okay. So this turned out to be buccal carcinoma. Okay. So nagtagos siya from buccal sa loob hanggang lumabas. No? Pinakit kasi cancer invades nag invade yung mga cancer. Ito naman, sa floor of the mouth, hindi na siya ko, the underside of the mouth, the floor of the mouth, itong gutter, ito, pangit ang itsura nito, di ba? Nakuka-uka, no? At, uh, matagal ito, hindi gumagaling, no? So, we, we suspect floor of the mouth cancer, no? Hindi na dito, ito, another patient. So, gingiva naman, so, pwedeng ito, may bukol dito. Granuloma pyogenicum dito. So, laging probably nasusugatan sa toothbrush. No? Nagkakaroon ng sugat. Then, nagkaroon siya yung tawag na bukol na pinay naman. No? Gagawin lang ito, kikiret lang itatanggal. Pero ito, yung tinginatang nila, sinabi ko, yung pag may itim na bukol, yan ang clue. Baka cancer, melanoma siya. Melanoma. No? This turned out to be melanoma of the upper gum. Upper gum. So, after the lumps, kanina injuries, then lumps, and then mayon ulcers naman. Ang ulcer is a loose, is the loss of erosion of the delicate lining of the mouth, the membrane, na? mucous membrane. So, the causes of the ulcerations, as I said, loss of erosion, so just call it uka, ng bumbit, na? Na, na, uka, uka, na? So, causes usually injury. Pag magkaroon ka ng injury, baka malasalit yung mucosa. Okay? So, you can end up with an ulceration. Then, infection. Yung mga singaw parang singaw. Okay? We call that singaw. Health herpes simplex. Yun. May mga kaokari ng ulcers. No? Then, of course, cancer can also present as ulcerations. Examples I've shown earlier. Ito, example of ulcerations, may uka erosions of the lower lip, no? 
Dipan man erosions or upa maliit na ulcers na sa gila. No? So this can be caused by baka nakagat niya accidentally kaya nagkaroon ng ulcerations no? magiging naman yan after a while. No? Or kung hindi niya nakagat, magdurabas yan baka herpes simplex or singaw. No? Parang yun ito. No? Okay. Or sometimes, sana hindi it can also turn out to be the earlier stage of cancer. No? Okay. So, babantayan lang ito. Pag nawala ito, within two weeks, wala, wala na problema. Okay. Plaques naman. Plaques are sticky substances on the surface of the lining of the parts of the mouth, usually white ang kulay. No? Ito, white. No? Okay. Minsan, baka sabihin mo, milk curds lang yan. Yung milk curds na tatanggal. Pero pag ayaw matanggal, Medyos, may ano yan, may pinibig sa veins yan. No? The more common causes are infection, pwedeng viral infection or fungal infection, or even cancer pwede rin. Yung mga, yung mga rare, may, may mga cancer na pipresent as plaques also, lalo na in early stage of yung tawag na squamous cell carcinoma. Discoloration. Unusual, when you say discoloration, there's unusual uh, coloring of the lining, usually pink, pink, um, normal kulay ng ano, lining of the mouth. No? So ito medyo may maitimite, discoloration, example, discoloration. Ito itim na so. No? Okay. So pag meron kayo itong itim, we suspect melanoma. Okay. So yung mga more common causes of this abnormal discoloration will be vitamins or mineral insufficiency, kulang sa vitamin, melanoma, example like this, and then very common, because marami nagki-chemotherapy in, in all over the world, marami tayo nakikita side effect of the chemo is may mga bluish discoloration no? ng labi, no? ng dila. No? So again, to repeat, what are the causes of unhealthy mouth? Mouth ito, ha? Hindi pa na, uh, hiniwalay natin yung teeth. So injuries, infections, vitamins and mineral or mineral insufficiency, chem chemotherapy-induced discolorations. Ito yung pinaka-more common. And then, of course, benign tumors, okay? And malignant tumors. Benign and malignant tumors are usually caused by some genetic factor, pero kung di siya... Uh, yung sa malignant naman, usually ang uh, nagpapalala into development of cancer, usually the use of tobacco and alcohol can also cause cancer of the mouth. Okay, here, the cause of unhealthy mouth, as I said, the use of alcohol and tobacco can cause many mouth problems, particularly tumors. Okay. So yung mga tobacco, magkakaroon ng staining of the teeth, you know? okay. but the more a serious one will be mga cancer of the mouth. So chances of having oral cancers are higher with smoking and using smokeless or chewing tobacco. Yung mga nag-chew-chew ng vital nut. Ganun din, no? Maraming may cancer sa pat pasyente na tao nag-chew-chew ng vital nut. No? Or drinking too much alcohol can cause cancer. So... This is just a summary, okay? Causes, injuries, infections, vitamin deficiency, chemotherapy, tumors, and then, so in terms of prevention, how do we prevent these uh, problems and so, so as to promote a healthy mouth? So we should be vigilant against injuries. Okay. Ingat lang. Okay. Nangin natin makagat accidentally. No? Pag, palagi, pag naranasan na nakagat na once, no? next time, ingat na lang. No? Huwag niyo yung mga kagatid dila, labi. No? Nandahan lang pag-chew. Okay. And then, dentures also. Kung may dentures, ingat lang. Okay. Then, number two is oral hygiene. Dapat palagi malinis yung bibig. No? Because it can cause infection. It can cause, sometimes it can cause tumors. Okay? And then, proper and adequate diet. Yes, because ito, sabi natin, one of the causes is vitamin and mineral insufficiency and also tumor. Diba? Okay. So, important yung proper and adequate diet. No tobacco, avoid alcohol. So, the next one, in terms of prevention, 
uh, ito more of the secondary prevention and you want early diagnosis, di ba? Uh, so do mouth self-examination at least monthly. Parang sa breast self-examination, dapat monthly. Breast neck uh, neck self-examination, dapat monthly. Uh, so usually mga self-examination, do it monthly, minimum. You don't have to do it every day. Kung kaya mo every day, go mo every day. Then after that, once you find something unusual, consult a physician right away para maagapan. But these this, uh, two items below here are the so-called secondary prevention. And yung mga, yung mga item above, we call that primary prevention no? to avoid the development. So dito sa secondary, pag meron na, lumabas na, you want early diagnosis and treatment naman. So let's now go to healthy teeth. What are the parameters of healthy nipping? So sinasabi natin isang tao na may healthy teeth ay wala siyang tooth decay or dental caries. Pero mahirap i-achieve yun. No? Well, I for one have history of dental caries. I don't know. Well, I don't know. So kung tanong yung mga dentist, dentist, dentist na sila, Pwede ba sila hindi magkaroon ng dental carry? Palito. Somehow, human beings naman sila, weaknesses din, most likely meron din. No? Okay. Then the other parameter for saying may healthy teeth, may dental carry ka, hindi mo pinagkamot. No? So that is just a parameter of unhealthy teeth. So dapat lahat na dental carry, dental decay, dapat gamot din. So pag... Uh, and doon siya at hindi siya ginagamot, then we call, we label that person to have an unhealthy teeth. So the other parameters would be, as mentioned earlier, hindi gumagalaw yung ngipin. Pag gumagalaw, may problema. And then, kung sumasakit, pag nag -chew -chew, and also when brushing, may problema. So these are signs of unhealthy teeth. No? Ito pag may, may masakit no? at, at gumagalaw. No? So how to promote healthy teeth? The most important strategy is to practice good oral hygiene. Daily. Daily pa. I have to emphasize daily. So number one, brush your teeth at least twice a day for two minutes each time. At least two minutes. Gusto okay. so, yung mas mahaba, pwede rin. But, but be careful na hindi rin yung masugatan yung gum. So kaya magasgas yung ngipin nyo through excessive brushing. No? So as much as possible, do the brushing right after eating. Pinakamaganda dyan. Every time that you eat, brush right away. Okay. Or at least three times a day. Kasi kung pagka, kumakain ka tayo, uh, almusal, nakalian, Sa gabi, kakain ulit tayo at least three. Kung may merienda, merienda pa, mas maganda kung magbabras after the merienda. Okay? But that's hard to achieve. No? So minimum would be at least twice a day. Then also use a soft bristle brass. Okay? Huwag yung matitigas kasi it will destroy. Pag nagbabras ka, misan, abrasion yung, yung ngipin. Or even the gums, nagkakasugat. No? So, and then replace the toothbrush every three to four months, para bago, no? okay, in good condition. And then, or less than three to four months, kung sira na yung, yung, mga, yung mga toothbrushes ninyo, especially when you, when you use the uh, toothbrushes of the hotel na inuuwi ninyo at ginagamit niyo for toothbrush, no? hindi tumatagal yun, baka one week lang yan, one years lang, tapos na. No? O, yung, mga, yung mga commercial brushes naman, kumisan low quality, Okay, wala pang 2 to 3 months, sila na rin. No? So, the other measure in terms of good oral hygiene, use fluoride toothpaste. So, kailangan ng fluorine. Okay? Fluoride sa ngipin natin in terms of health maintenance of the teeth. Then, floss. Floss. Kadalasan, marami tayo, hindi nagpa-floss. Pero, importante yung floss. No? I've learned my lesson there. No? Yung floss daily. No? Pwede right after the brushing, mag-floss tayo. Okay. Or sa gabi, mag-extra floss kayo. Baka may naiwan sa, you know, after tooth brushing, may naiwan pa yung mga pagkain in between the teeth. Okay. Then, eat 
sticky, sugary foods in moderation. I put moderation because hindi natin mapigil. Tako tayo, tatay tayo. Uh, mga matatamis. No? It's, it's sticky that. No? So eat them in moderation. But if you eat some sticky, sugary foods, brush right away. Para hindi mag-stick doon sa, sa lipid na matagal. No? Avoid tobacco use. And then also, yung usually tobacco sa teeth yan. No? Okay, yung alcohol is on mouth ng problema. So, after that, have a regular dental checkup and cleaning. Contact your dentist as soon as possible when, when there's a dental health. Okay. When you say regular checkup, usually I would suggest baka every six months or every year, dapat meron. No? Just like for sa mga, sa mga doctors, when you go to the physician, non-dentist, mas maganda kung meron kayo regular checkup at least once a year. Well, after, of course, meron pa yung self-examination. After the monthly self-examination, have it checked by the doctor at least once a year. Then at the dentist, you have this uh, proper practicing good oral hygiene and then you also examine your teeth every every month, now self-exam and then have a at least yearly checkup with your dentist. So yung sa dentist, usually they call it prophylaxis lilinisin pa rin nila yung, yung ngipin ninyo para hindi magkakaroon ng maraming uh, dental caries. So how to, what are the causes? The causes will be uh, kabaliktaran ng promotion. So the causes of unhealthy teeth is that if you don't practice good oral hygiene, kakaroon ka ng unhealthy teeth. If you don't brush your teeth at least twice a day, you're going to have unhealthy teeth. You don't use the, uh, you use hard brush, yung, yung hard bristle brush, nagkakakuglema rin. You don't use fluoride toothpaste, you don't floss, you, don't, you, you eat sticky sugary foods all the time, but the last frequently, and then you use tobacco, no? all of these can cause unhealthy teeth. And then if you don't also see a dentist for a checkup and cleaning, that can also cause then, uh, unhealthy teeth. So, I think I've... Uh, I'm ending my talk on mouth and dental health. Okay. So I have discussed all these items. What is a mouth health, oral health, dental health? What are the components of the mouth? What are the parameters of a healthy mouth? And deep, what are the causes of a healthy mouth? What, how to promote a healthy mouth? What are the parameters of healthy teeth? What are the causes of a healthy teeth? And how to promote a set of healthy teeth. So takeaway in relation to patient empowerment, be always in touch with reliable medical information on mouth and dental health. Knowledge is power, it gives power, use the four case of patient empowerment. The four case will be kaalaman, kakayanan, karapatan, and kapangyarihan, which are under your control to gain greater control over decisions and make better decisions on any problems on the mouth and teeth. Okay. So with that, I end my pep talk. I hope I have empowered you to have a, an essential understanding of mouth and dental health in your health management. So before we go to the question and answer portion, reminder, please take the Olete for Mastery of Learning. I have a certificate like this, if you you would have a certificate like this, if you pass the OLETE. And then 50 OLETE certificates will entitle one to a voucher for an RO consult telemedical consultation. And then please put in your feedback in the chat box. And let's now have a group picture taking before we start the QA interaction. Please show your beautiful faces in the video now. Okay, one, two, everybody. One, two, three. Okay, so I have saved the pictures. The floor, the floor is now open for questions, reactions, comments, and also sharing of experiences. 
Anybody wants to start? I hope this is not a boring topic for you. Is it? Um, Jocelyn T has a question. Okay, Jocelyn T. It says, I have an on and off slight cracks in both ends of my mouth. So if I open my mouth wide, it has slight pain, no pass. I apply virgin coconut oil to them, top up with a Chinese powder to sort for sore throat. The cracks heal, but sometimes recurs. What may be the cause of that? Do I have vitamin uh, deficiency? Thanks. Cracks. Meron ang cracks na yun. <laughs> you have cracks now? You, unmute. you have cracks now? Unmute. No, uh, no Doc. Heal na yung cracks. Ah, okay. Sana meron. No? Para makita. I know. Siyempre, <laughs> ayoko yun. <laughs> Kabilaan? Kabilaan dito. Okay. How often? How of, Number one, how often does it occur? Lately, mga monthly. Pero for a few days lang. Basta na-feel ko na yung pain, ginagawa ko kagad yung extra virgin coconut oil and the Chinese med. Chinese med. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. We start, as always, we started first with the diagnosis, di ba? So, uh -huh. number one, uh, yung, uh, yung mga data will be uh, kabilaan, ankle. Kabilaan, yes. Nasa ankle? Yes, and, ito. And, so, dito sa end. Okay. Anong klaseng crack? Yung ano, malalim, mababaw? Uh, parang, Hindi, parang, mababaw parang, lang. Parang, mababaw dry, lang. parang dry lang, dry skin, dry ka na? Parang dry? Oh, parang dry lang. Dry lang. Okay. Yes. Kasi iba yung... Oh, walang pas eh. Walang sticky substance eh. Yeah, Wala na. ding sugat na malalim. Yeah. Okay. Tama. Good. So, that, you're, mar marunong ka pala mag-self ano, exam. <laughs> <laughs> so, you have to differentiate those things. No? Okay. Yes. So, kung parang crack lang. Uh, okay. And then, how often? This did it occur before? Lately, parang monthly eh. Did it occur before? Last year, two years back, ten years back? Ah, meron din, pero matagal na yun. Matagal. When oh. was the last time? Years? Years back? Years back. Yeah. Oh. Pero lately, napapansin ko, parang monthly. Parang monthly. So years hmm. back, kasi iniisip mo, baka... May iniisip ka ng tanong mo, vitamin food deficiency, di ba? So, ikaw yes. mo yung, yung duration. Kung years back, mm -hmm. mas mataka. Ibig sabihin, marami kang okay lang kinakain mo. Ngayon, mm -hmm. konti lang mo kinakain mo. <laughs> konti na lang. Baka, the same. Ah, oh, the same. Kung the, the same, same, most likely, hindi vitamin deficiency. If there is a, uh, kung di ka kumakain na yon at uh, you have the cracks every month, no, that could be uh, related, no, baka related yung cost, no, okay. So baka, um, if you ask me point blank kung ano siya, kung misan, I cannot really answer it in terms of real specific cause, we can call it non-specific lang, no, Okay, it could be due to uh, when you say non-specific, we cannot really identify. There's such a thing as non-specific, di ba? So mm -hmm. in life, life kaya yung mga problema din natin ma matayagnos sa kotse, kung isa din natin ma matayagnos, no? Ganon, no? Non-specific, no? So ganon din sa sa health ng tao, we call that non-specific. We cannot really identify. So of course, we will try our best to identify the real cause, no? Para malaman na we know how to. Uh, how to prevent it again, how to solve it. No? But a lot of times we don't know. No? We just have to keep on observing. No? Doc, so, is it a sign of dehydration? Possible. Pero may inom ka naman tubig, di ba? Yes. Baka oh. kulang. <laughs> Baka kulang. Kung, kung kulang, pwede rin. Pero usually bakit nasa site lang, di ba? 
Bakit yeah. side lang? No? Oo, oh, bakit hindi full lips na dry? Uh, uh, so, if you are, anyway, if you are trying to solve your own problem, okay lang, you try to think of all the possible causes and then you try to remedy it. By example, you drink a lot of water and see what will happen. Di ba? Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, but you put, okay, you put virgin coconut oil. Okay. Extra virgin coconut oil. No, wala agad. No, mga three days, ganyan. May pattern? So, ma monthly na? Ilang beses mo na in-apply yun? Ma sabi mo? Ma oh, three months na. Three months every month? Oh. Yes, pero for a few days only, it will heal. So, three months na ngayon. So, yes. next, you expect it to come again next month? <laughs> Sana mog na. <laughs> ah, Okay. So it might be due to the environment that you are in. Kung ganon, no? Environment means could be the food that you're eating, also the weather. No? Ganon. Yung weather, walang kinalaman? Wala. Constant naman. Baka nasa air-conditioned room ka o nasa lapas ka? Uh, constant okay. lang. Constant. Okay, constant. Kamisan, di ba? You don't so go, go abroad, no? When you go uh -huh. abroad, you change of temperature. Yung katarang na 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 dry mouth no? uh -huh. is does it feel the same parang when you go i, I suppose you've got a broad yeah. does it feel the same ah, hindi naman na ah, dahil i'm in a cold climate tapos nagkakaganyan hindi ganun eh ah, ne. okay uh -huh. so it's specific that we cannot really identify yes. okay no, uh, no, doc, do, you, do you suspect uh ano yun zoster herpes herpes zoster no uh -huh. No, usually her sister is isang ano lang yun eh, isang uh, isang episode lang, no? At usually uh -huh. two months, three months to lay to yon, no? Before it heals, matagal yon, uh -huh. masakit, uh -huh. masakit, no? It's not only for three to four days, no? But her uh -huh. sister usually one side lang, one side lang yon, uh -huh. hindi siya may lahat uh -huh. kabilaan, no? Uh -huh. Two usually matagal, masakit siya. No? Hmm. Three, usually uh, tumatagal ng anyan. Kahit na maglagay ka ng mga antiviral ointment, no? yung sovirat, yung mga mahamahamang gamot, mm -hmm. it will be mm -hmm. here for about two, two months at least. Two months. Tuloy-tuloy. Bago, bago gagaling siya. Okay? So, I, I won't say hindi naman masakit, di ba? Hindi. Di ba? Okay, so baka the other type of uh, viral infection is herpes simplex. Simplex. No? Ng singaw, no? Mm. Pero usually, sandali lang, pero three, three days. Three days, masyadong madali. Usually, one week pa yun eh. Yung mga herpes simplex. Kasi wala siyang sugat eh. Yung, alam ko kasi yung singaw, uh -huh. may makikita tayong, yung sa sample picture niya po. Yeah, may also so, parang mayroong puti na ilog. Ito wala eh. Ah, wala. Okay. Oh. So, baka ano lang, baka sa weather lang yan. No? I'll I will continue to observe na lang. Yeah, continue to observe. Uh, tingnan mo rin, we, we, you don't put virgin coconut, you experiment mo rin. If you don't put virgin coconut oil, saka yung Chinese medicine, see whether it will disappear by itself. Mm -hmm. I oh. dare not stop oh. them. <laughs> Masakit eh. If I open my mouth wide. Konting tiis. I just want to share ah, the yeah. Chinese medicine I'm using is called uh, Tse Kue Song. It's a uh, uh, galing sa Ampalaya. Okay. Ay, watermelon pala, sorry. Galing sa watermelon na ginawang powder rice. Available yan sa mga Chinese drugstores. Okay, anong 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 uh, pinopromote nila doon? Anong usefulness? For sore throat. Sore throat. For any sugat or singaw inside the mouth, you just spray it on. Medyo bitter siya pero effective. So, so spray yon, spray. Yeah, uh, spray. Nasa isang ano. Can I share it dito? Kunin ko lang. Uh, yeah, sige, sige. Okay. Can you hold? Sige. So while he's, she's looking for it, any other comments, questions? From Maria Gustapolotan, sharing what my dentist told me. Okay. Um, floss, 
before brushing. Ah, okay. Floss before brushing. Okay. So how do you how do you find that experience? Ano? Ako, I usually do the flushing after brushing. How do you find it? Ano experience mo? Maria Husta. Uh, okay lang po. Uh, kasi sabi niya, uh, it's better daw to floss because, uh, ano ba yun? First of all, you loosen the yung debris uh -huh. ng indicating uh -huh. teeth. And then, so, then you brush. Tapos, it, it helps uh, you retain the fluoride more if you floss before you brush. <laughs> you retain the fluoride more if you... You floss before you brush. Ah, kasi hindi mo tinatanggal yung, ano, yung fluoride after brushing. Yung sa brush kasi... I guess so. Uh -oh. Okay. Uh -oh. okay. Oh, sige, we can That's what... Said. <laughs> sounds, so sounds I, I followed her. <laughs> I followed her. I just followed her. I mean, yeah. But after following for how many years? Ay, matagal na po. Uh, uh, ma 10 years na, 20 years. Yes. Oh, oh. Matagal, oh. matagal na. Oh, that, did it prevent dental caries in there? <laughs> ano naman ho? Yes. Um, um, I'm not really, I haven't really had any cavities. Wow, oh, galing. Okay. Wala, except yung natural, ano, like, kasi ko yung, yung dating uh, feeling, kasi uh -huh. my mom was also a dentist. Uh -huh. But yung uh -huh. nilagay niyang feeling, yung bawal na ngayon, yung mercury. Oh, yung mercury, okay. Because of, during her time, yun lang ang feeling. The, the white one was was just temporary. Uh -oh. uh, so that's the permanent one. That's so permanent pala ho that it's stronger than the enamel of your teeth. Yeah. So ang nangyari, uh, uh, expand siya. Mm -hmm. the, the mercury expands. Mm -hmm. So if, like me, I always chew on one, I chew more often on one side. So okay yung side na yun. Pero yung side na where I don't chew, Mm -hmm. na na break niya yung enamel nung ano nung teeth kasi as you grow older the enamel also becomes weaker yeah yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. so it, it 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 broke the enamel so mm -hmm. ang repair work was uh, naiwan yung teeth they they had to ano lang uh, you know put a, a porcelain jacket uh -huh, porcelain. pero they did not uh oh they did not uh, remove anything in ano lang they trimmed it so that's why hold now they don't really use the mercury feeling yeah. anymore. It's always yeah. the white. Because yeah. it's first of all it's poisonous. But yeah. I'm still alive. <laughs> yeah. I guess I wasn't poisoned. Uh oh. Konti lang kasi. <laughs> mm, konti lang, uh oh. Konti lang. Saka if, if, if it hasn't done you any harm naman, you 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 can you you it's best to just leave it na lang. Yeah. Rather than have it all taken out and replaced. Yeah. Okay. Pero okay lang ho. Wala naman ho. Wala so how many years ka na walang problema sa ngipin? Nakakaingit ka naman? <laughs> since since forever. <laughs> Wala talaga? ho talaga. I, opo, I've not had uh, yung mga cavity or butas or what. Uh, oh. Ganda ang um, maganda ang jeet mo. <laughs> <laughs> yung ano lang ko, remember yung you took out that ano, that wart yeah. on my tongue. Uh -huh. Yun yung ano, uh -huh. nag-cause kasi nga, she had to leave the, when she, uh, ano, she did the work on uh -huh. my, on those teeth dito, on this side. So she couldn't, uh, she had to leave it first ang gano'n, hindi pa niya kasi malalagay yung jacket. Doon uh -huh. na yung tongue ko. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, na kasi it was rough. Eh. Yeah. So but, yeah, but in terms in terms of dental caries, in terms of mm. uh, yung gingivitis, wala, wala. wala. Maganda, wala. Maganda wala. yung chin mo. Ako, may inis ako sa mga ganun, <laughs> sumasakit. Ah, <laughs> ah oo, oo, oo. No. Talagang dental, ano lang ho, dental hygiene, ganun, brush three times, yeah. floss, yeah. and then mouthwash. Ah. 
But we all agree that uh, pag may problema sa dent, kahit nasa sa ngipin lang, ang sama na yung pakiramdam mo, di ba? <laughs> opo, opo. And um, my, my dentist also told me that sometimes if you let, if you don't attend to your teeth, uh, talagang sasama yung katawan mo. Mm. Sas sasama in what that, sense? In, in, eh, in, uh, in, kasi yung minsan yung infection, it, it It really ah, yeah. travels. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. sabi niya, it's best to... Uh, yeah. Kaya, I mean, she, she right. told... Opo, kaya talagang kailangan ni eh, ano. Kasi, uh, some people, sabi niya, uh, nung binunutan niya, they felt much better all over physically. Kasi nga, yeah. natanggal yung source of infection. Yeah. So, may kaya, infection. Very, very infection. important talaga yung teeth. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh -oh. Pero before the uh, frank infection will set in, usually masakit, dental care is po na masakit na masakit. Mm -hmm. Hindi mo hindi ka mga oh, 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 oh. oh. Sabi nila, hindi ka na makatulog sa sakit. Yeah. Um, talagang talagang you know, pinoproblema mo. Paano ako kakain? Paano? <laughs> okay. Oh, oh. So is there, is there that you're a good gene? No? Okay. Oh, Opo. Nakon mo din. Napan word, okay. So, so I think uh, going back, I think pwede naman kasi ta, you use a dental floss mo na para kasi kung bisa malaki yung chunk ng ano, debris between the teeth, di ba? So, pwede mo tanggalin mo na then brush it, di ba? Okay. So, ako naman, I usually, yung mga malalaki, I try to remove it with the brush. Ang hirap na tanggalin, di ba? So, <laughs> pag hirap tanggalin, pinag-floss ko na lang, no? Then, I can I can go back, no? So floss, then 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 brush mo na, then go oh, back and forth, ganon, no? Mm -hmm. Basta the end point is that I feel it's uh, wala nang nakasingit doon. Okay, yun ang mm -hmm. nakakatakot, yung, yung nakasingit sa between the teeth. Mm -hmm. eh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just be ano, flexible, pwedeng mauna yung floss, and then, then, you know, then brush or pwede din balikan yung floss after brushing or mauna yung brushing that floss na okay okay so ano pa sandali ah so okay to na yung gamot ah sandali 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 Somebody turn off my lights here. I'm in the operating room of PG8. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, what's the name? Uh, okay. Ito yung bottle inside the box. Okay. I'm not selling. Ah. I'm just sharing. Na oh. effective ito sa mga ulcers inside the mouth and sa sore throat pwede rin. Okay. So are, actually there are a lot of medicines like that. Di ba? Mm -hmm. Yung mga Western medicine not Chinese medicine, meron din. Mm -hmm. So how do you compare? Have you experienced? Uh, this, one, uh, this one, very cheap lang. Tapos, parang hindi naman siya antibiotic eh. Kaya, safer than antibiotic. Yung iba naman, walang antibiotics din. I forget the name. Pero mahal na yung in the spray. Baka Camilosan. Camilosan. Hmm. Camilosan. There's another hmm. one. Marami yan, maraming klase of spray. No? I just cannot remember those names. Anyway, if your experience, walang antibiotics yan, then what's your experience? Wala. Nag-spray mo, no. nagnanam? No, no. No, hindi siya nagnanam. Ano lang, parang no. mentally, parang mentally yung feeling pag nasa inside ng mouth. At saka bitter. Ah, bitter lang. Okay. Safe naman na maswalo. Ah, okay. Ah, sige. So, uh, gamot yan ka, kahit nung bata pa ako meron na this medicine eh. eh I'm already past 60 senior <laughs> na po <laughs> how much is that? how much is that? mura lang pero this one uh, my husband bought sa Hong Kong pero dito sa Ong Pin marami yan okay uh -oh. ah, sige so thank you for sharing that information to us no? okay so if she's not selling it's not ano uh, but uh, no, no. take note of that baka you might want to use it try it no? mm -hmm. maraming may singaw they are using this yeah 
Ako, ma- ako I-, I-, I can tell you my experience. Meron akong every now and then. The last time that I had Singao was the three before the... Uh, actually, during the pandemic, nagkaroon ako ng Singao. And then I just... Wala akong medicine. Na? I just uh, wash. Just the, the usual oral hygiene. Then after, salt. 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 After one salt week, water. Yeah. After one week, kusang nawala. Okay? Mm. So it's really a question is whether you really need that medicine or not, di ba? Kasi mm. saan, may self-healing ka eh, di ba? Okay. Yes. My her- herpes zoster, ganun din ako. May herpes zoster, mm. not on the mouth, but at the back, no? Mm. I, did, uh, I did use the uh, expensive antibiotics, no? I just have to take a uh, painkiller kasi masakit, no? Mm. And then, just, pero matagal, no? Yung sakit yon probably lasted about two weeks, no, yung sakit, no? Pero yung the uh, complete healing, yung nawala na yung scar, yung, yung, ano, yung, yung bakat, no? Usually it took me about two months bago nawala, no? Dok, totoo ba pag yung herpes, uh, ano tawag doon kanina? Herpes, ano yun? Oh, sir. Pagka na-complete niya yung end-to-end na ikot, if the one end meets the other end, mamamatay na yung patient? Hindi. <laughs> Huh? No, no it's, oh. it, I think it's a myth. It's a myth. Ah, it's a myth. Yeah, okay. So, anybody, anytime you can develop herpes zoster, no? anywhere, ha? ang, ang delikado lang, baka doon sa mata, malapit sa mata, no? Ganun. Pero kung uh, hindi yung meat, kasi usually, nag-occur yun sa, in a branch of, in, in, in nerve branch, diba? sa branch ng nerve pattern, no? Ganun. So, ano yung, ano yung end? Kabila? Ay, basta yun yung naririnig ko eh. Oo, oh, marami tayong oh. naririnig. Saka maraming nerves yan na, na pwedeng tamaan eh. No? At mm-hmm. mahaba yung nerve, di ba? Yung sa akin, from, from here, from the back to here. Di ba? Ganong kahaba. Mm-hmm. Okay. Pero nawala na. No? Mm-hmm. Mga five years, six years na ito. But I didn't take any medicine. I just wash it with soap and water and then rely on my healing power. <laughs> what, what is that? <laughs> uh, uh, host resistance, healthy diet, healthy lifestyle. Oh. Yun lang. Na? Okay. So not everything naman, I, whenever you have a problem, you don't have to take medicine all the time. It, it can heal by itself. Diba? Okay. But, it, but it, it depends. Ha? <laughs> kung cancer, we don't say it heals by itself. <laughs> yeah. So yung mga infection, virus, yung mga sugat, it will just heal by itself kahit na wala kang gamot na nilalagay. No? Okay? Thank you, Doc. You're welcome. Any other questions, Abet? The... There's nothing at the chat box. Okay. Anybody else who want to share? Floss. I just have a. I just want to have a survey. How many are using floss? How many are using floss? Show of hands. So, apat. So only lahat. Okay. Lahat. That. Yung. Okay. Kung bata-bata pa ako, I don't use floss. Basta toothbrush lang. Eh. Pero after a while, I started uh, realizing the importance of floss. Then, I think I use floss. Okay. Dapat... Dok, yung teeth, teeth ko kasi mahirap i-shoot yung floss eh. Masikip masyado. Maganda. May floss na manipis ah. Oo. Oo. Nahirapan ako. So I just bought yung denta- dental tools. Yung may hook, yung manipis lang na may hook. Yun ah. na lang ginagamit ko pang clean. Okay. Ah, sige. Whatever which will uh, be uh, suitable to you. Kasi yung mga, may mga dentist nagsasabi, you don't use yung mga hook. Di ba? They, they, they prefer yung mga floss. You know? Yung toothpick, ayaw rin nila, di ba? They don't advise using toothpick, di ba? So pero, pero sa restaurant, dapat uh, alos lahat may toothpick. 
Huh? So probably they, should, they should also provide dental floss at restaurant. <laughs> okay. So any more comments? So I really wish that all of us will have good teeth. No, your mouth problem no, not so common, but the more common problems, teeth, diba? Yung teeth. Pag nagkasakit yung teeth mo, nang makain, ang sama ang pakiramdam mo, no? Uh, kung bakit pa nangyari ito sa akin, then I have to see a dentist, I have to hassle, diba? Pati yung TMJ patients, nahihirapan na. Ah. TMJ? Oo. Oh. Tooth, mouth, jaw problem? Yeah. So, Anong tanong mo? Uh, nahihirapan yung mga pasyente na may TMJ problem. Yeah, I because of the opening of the mouth, mahirap talaga yan ng no? TMJ. No? But that's another problem. That's another yes. problem aside this. Diba? Okay. So I uh, wish all of you will have good teeth. Huwag niyo patanggal ha. I committed, I committed to some mistakes in the past. Inis na inis ako sa mga feelings, mga ano, pinipil lang. No? Ha, inconvenient. Pinatanggal ko na lang, pinabunot ko. No? So, kasi kung isang dentist will ask you, what do you want? What do you want? No? So, pagsagaan mo na lang, feelings na lang. Kasi it's hard to chew with, with, with dentures. Yes. Di ba? So, try to preserve your teeth as long as possible. Kung pwede. No? Okay. If you want to enjoy eating, if you want to enjoy eating, I think in the end, baka eating na lang yung ano, eh, kaligayahan natin okay? pag matanda na tayo. Diba? Okay. Tama. Okay? Sir, from Rex to Lentino. Okay, Rex. Good day po, Dr. Ray. Ask ko lang kung safe po bang operahan ang diabetes. Ang um, diabetes, anong klaseng operasyon gagawin? In general? In general? Hindi ko tama. Yung sound, hindi ka namin marinig. Anyway, anyway, ang sagot ko dyan, it depends, no? Kung, uh, kung severe ang diabetes, it has to be controlled first before the operation. No? Kung mild diabetes lang, hindi naman delikado. No? Kung mild lang. Especially kung minor, yung simple surgery lang gagawin. No? Ganon. Dr. He added sugat sa paa. Kaya nga. So, anong operasyon gagawin? Itatahe? Itatahe? Sugat sa paa, may diabetes. Kung may sugat, number one, kahit na may diabetes siya, kailangan gamutin. Pero bakit mo operahan? Ah, baka, baka may ano siya, baka meron siyang diabetic gangrene sa paa ka mo. Very common yun. No? Kasi may mga, yung mga may diabetes, kamisan nagkakaroon ng sugat sa paa, to the point na diabetic gangrene ni ano na bulok na yung daliri yung, yung sa dalawang toes kailangan putulin na no di ba yung ba yung ba yung scenario mo sir eto oh good day po ask ko lang po kung ako okay lang po ba na operahan ang diabetes without conducting first the lab test inoperahan po ang mother and law po alam na nag-opera sa kanya na diabetic ang patient niya dahil una na niya itong na-operahan nung i-amputate niya yung isang daliri sa paa. After two years, nagkaroon ulit na sugat sa paa at ina-advise kami na operahan daw ulit. Nagtatanong kami kung need pa munang i-x-ray, ang sabi niya hindi na daw. Diretso na daw opera. After more or less two weeks na operahan, ay lumala yung sugat hanggang sipuluyan ng amputate hanggang below the knee. Ang questions in mind pa po namin ay bakit hindi muna pinag, pinag, pinag lab test para malaman if safe na operahan 
dahil alam niya namang diabetic. Ang sagot niya lang sa akin ay walang mali sa opera niya. Malinis daw ang opera niya. Ang problem daw ay nung ay nasa sistema na daw ng katawan ng pasyente. Okay. So tama pala yung, yung direction ng answer ko. So yun, ng diabetic gangrene. No? Okay. So thank you for that question. But before I answer that, test ko lang. Any reactions from the audience? Anong, anong reactions nyo? Paano nyo yung mag-react kayo kay Rex? Yung sinasabi niya kung kailangan pa ng lab test before the operation. Di ba? Essentially, yun ang tanong mo. Kung kailangan, bakit hindi pa, hindi pa gumawa ng lab test before the operation? Anong, anong magandang sagot doon? Di ba lahat ng diabetic patient dapat may mga certain test na dapat gawin kung masamo na sila bago pwede i-opera. Okay. So, you know, uh, as a rule, that's correct. No? Okay. So, kung gusto nila malaman yung level ng diabetes niya kung ba nakataas. No? Okay. So, yan ba yung, yan ba yung question mo, Rex? Okay. So, pag may, pag may diabetes na, kahit na alam na may diabetes, kasi hindi natin alam at a certain point in time, sa isang araw, kasi yung, yung level ng yung sugar mo does not, does not remain constant uh, every day. No? Kahit na every day lang, the fluctuate yun. No? Okay. So, you really have a, to have a test of the blood sugar. Kaya napapansin nyo, those have been operated on, pag na-hospital kayo, meron, merong yung tinatawag na CBG, every hour, every 20 minutes, every ano, yun ang mahal doon, di ba? We know monitoring blood sugar. No? So that's the reason. No? You have to monitor the blood sugar before the operation. No? Kung masyado mataas, maybe get it. No? Okay. Pero hindi yan ang... Yan ang, kasi the other part of your question is kasi hindi siya gumagaling, di ba? Hindi gumagaling yung ano niya. Tama yung doktor niyo, yung, yung diabetes na yun, nasa sistema na. No? Okay? Kasi paulit-ulit lang talaga yon When you have diabetes yun, kasi yung, yung mga blood vessels buong, sa buong katawan, medyo makipot na, masikip. No? Okay? Particularly dun sa tuhod, sa paa. Kaya that's that, that's why it's very common to have diabetic gangrene. No? Gangrene means nabubulok, umiitin yung paa. No? Okay. So, kaya yung mga doctor usually, kung, uh, kung isa lang daliri ang maitim, isa lang tatanggalin. Pero it doesn't guarantee na may susunod pa ng isang daliri. No? Okay. So, tinanggal yung second daliri, daliri walang guarantee na makikure. No? Kaya pwedeng sumunod na yung buong paa naman. No? Then, kung tinanggal yung buong paa, hindi wala rin garantina, na baka aakit dun sa tuhod. No? At di taas. Kaya puputol naman. No? So yan ang, yan, ang, yan ang challenge sa mga may diabetes. No? Yan ang nakakaawa. No? No? So, tama yung doktor, nasa sistema na yon. It's not because, really because of the monitoring. Pero ideally, dapat may monitoring before the operation. No? Okay. To make sure uh, hindi siya nagkaroon ng diabetic uh, yung mga hype, yung tawag crisis. Yung hyper, hyper diabetes, yung, ano, yung, yung, yung biglang taas o biglang baba no? ng blood sugar. No? Okay? Okay. Ano na? Ano na? Okay. So it's... Uh, okay. 3.12 already, so we'll call it day. Okay, we'll see each other next week. And one next week. So, kalimutan ko na anong pinipare ko, but I'll announce it in the, in the Facebook. Na? Okay. Thank you, Doc. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you, Doc. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you, Paul. Bye-bye. Thank you for...